Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Levitation, the Sunday series. And last week, I talked about sowing and reaping, right? Our decisions and our choices are seeds being sown. But we aren't the only ones who plant seeds in our lives. God also plants seeds in our life. Could be the seeds of gifts and talents. Could be the seeds of people. Could be the seed of certain personality traits. We all have seeds that have been planted specifically by God. Some of us are aware of those seeds. Some of us are not. But for some of us who are aware that God has planted seeds in our lives, we are waiting for that seed to produce. We water it regularly. We provide the nutrients. We put in all this work and taking care of it and it's still not producing. And we may look over and see somebody else tree producing fruit. We may look in our neighbor's yard and see they have two, three trees with all kinds of fruits. Why, how come their tree is producing and mine's not? How come their gift and their talent is getting them to the place where they wanted to be and mine's not? How come their relationship is moving at this pace but mine's not? How come all the time and the effort that I've been putting into the ministry or putting into my craft hasn't gotten me to where I wanted to be yet? We wonder why, how come our tree haven't produced yet? And so what we might do, we might go and take the advice of those people who tree is producing. And sometimes those people telling you, well, maybe you need to cut that tree down. If it ain't producing, cut it. Stop spinning your wheels, stop wasting time. Maybe plant another seed. They might encourage you to give up. They may mean well. They may be trying to give you advice that they think is helpful. But again, if God has planted that seed in your life, you continue to nurture that. One tip to help us to kind of not look at other people's trees is written in Galatians 6 and 4. It says, pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get satisfied of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. A lot of times we get frustrated with the work that we put into it and we look at other people's work. We see other people's fruits of their labor and we compare. My tree is not barren. And because we take some people's advice, we give up. How many of us have given up on goals, opportunities, friendships, people because they were taking too long to produce the fruit that you thought that was going to come from them. But I can't stress this enough. God never plants a seed in your life for it not to produce at some point. So you may be, again, comparing. You may be looking at your neighbor's fruits and you see they got an apple tree. They got an orange tree. They got plums. They got all kinds of fruit. But what if the seed that God is planting in your life is a pear type seed? See, the pear type seeds are classified as slow growing seeds. The pear seed is most likely not to produce any fruit for at least three years after planting it in the ground. At least three years? A lot of us are so excited about the seed that has been planted, we are expecting to get fruit in year one, when you shouldn't even expect anything until year three. Just because your tree hasn't blossomed yet doesn't mean to stop working and nurturing that tree. Your care and your patience during that nurturing time will determine the quality of the fruit that your tree bears. You have to be patient and endure. And the reason why you can be patient and endure is because you didn't plant that seed. God planted that seed. God planting the seed is the evidence of his promise. Your dedication during the time of growth shows your faithfulness and your belief to what God has promised. Hebrews 10 and 36 says, patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he has promised. We have to remain patient, but we have to continue to push through and do the work needed to cultivate that plant. Galatians 6, 9 through 10 says, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially those in the family of faith. It says at just the right time, at the perfect time, your tree will produce. Your gift may have not blossomed yet. Your vision may not be in existence yet. Your friends may not be where you hope for them to be. Your kids may not be where you want them to be. Your relationship may not be moving as fast as you want it to be. But if God has planted those ideas, those gifts, those talents, those people in your life, it is your responsibility not to give up on what's been planted. Again, God did not plant them in your lives for no fruit to be produced. So keep managing, keep preparing, keep nurturing, and at the perfect time, you will reap a harvest. This is Levitation, where we're reaching our highest potential. Stay blessed.